for summer. Welcome back. It doesn't mean we have to stop learning here with a lesson in some super science is one of our favorite guests, Science Bob. We're ready. All We're right. prepared. We're in our uniforms. This is glasses. my ready for science pose. Let's go. Right. All right, let's science. dig in. First, let's have some fun. Uh, so here's what I like. Sometimes uh, when you do science demo, it almost resembles magic. Yes! And so, uh, so I, I want to do a little demo today that I think kind of embraces that. Kay. So I've got uh, some colorless liquids here, some empty uh, containers. And I'm just going to show you this and then we'll explain it. Okay. So I'll just kind of help it show up for our audience. Kay. So uh, I've got this pitcher. And uh, Kelly, I'm going to have you fill up the first three and then Ryan, you can do the last three. Kay. You're just going to pour it into each All one of those. All the way up? Uh, yeah, about three quarters of the way up. And what you see is something very wow. new. Now you go right to the next container. Well, how's that happening? Magic. You're going to tell us, Ryan. right? Abra, abra, cadabra. See that? So, I want to uh, reach out and grab so, yeah. <laughs> so uh, of course, it's, it's not magic. It is science. Sorry to disappoint you. But uh, this is actually the science of indicator solutions. So, indicator solutions? Yeah. So, you mean like for pregnancy tests and stuff? Oh, no, stuff? no. That's something different. Oh. Um, so, is, uh, is Ryan expecting? So I snuck in a little bit of uh, some chemicals in here. And this is a, uh, it looks like water, but it's actually a solution that's very base, almost like ammonia. Oh. Oh. And then uh, when we mix it in here, we were able to get these wonderful colors of the Beautiful. rainbow. And Beautiful. if we ever wanted to neutralize it, we just pour it into a solution that's a little that's bit. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? No. Are My you, eyes what, are deceiving no, wait, me. Wait, what's that? This is, what is this, a D well, that indicator? Is a, that is an acid solution, and it just <gasps> oh. neutralizes them. So pretty cool. That's cool. Well yeah. done. All right, All right, Bob, thank you. So, that was uh, fun. let's go from chemistry to physics. Physics! Oh, All right, it is a hot one out sauce. there. The, oh, we have some physics fans. <laughs> physics fans, look at that. All right, you're gonna need to put these gloves on. Uh, uh, there we go. Mine. Now, have you ever used uh, the hand cranks to make ice cream? No, but David Muir yeah, uses a hand crank to, to roll, down uh, roll down a window of a car. Oh, okay. Well, that works. Uh, it takes a long time. It takes about a uh, half hour. We're going to try to make ice cream in about 30 it seconds. It does take a long time. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, uh, so, let me show you the ingredients. We've got uh, Milk, sugar, equal of uh, cream and milk. Go ahead and pour Yum. those into our big in bowl there, here. Girl. Yep. All right, and then uh, you're going to get to decide what flavor. You want to go chocolate or do you want to go vanilla? Oh, no. What Whatever. do you like? Whatever. I like anything. All right, so all right, we're going to go from chocolate, so squeeze that in there. And grab that spoon, and we're going to give it a quick mix. This spoon here? Yeah. Uh, so these are just kind of your basic uh, chocolate in uh, ice, cream. ice cream. Right, right. Then all you need to do then is go into your pantry okay. and then grab a container of liquid nitrogen. We have some oh, down yeah. there. <laughs> There it is, right you know, by the when you, there when you run out to right. the store, you always get the liquid nitrogen. Bring, bring that up. Bring yeah, that yeah up? we're going to need okay. that. Here, so, like uh, so this is about uh, 320 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Okay. And so just keep mixing that. I'm going to pour okay. this in here. Okay. That's it. Mix away. Put that workout to work on some ice cream. And it's going to come out fast? And uh, so if all goes well, you've heard, of course, of liquid nitrogen ice cream places. So what's nice is it actually makes smaller ice crystals. You feel it getting thick? I feel it. <laughs> You're I feel down. something. Oh my gosh. And Can you see it? we hear scraping. That's a good sound. All right, so now grab that ice cream scoop. Let's this? see if we've done it. Oh, there oh, we this. go. Okay. There we go. He's pointing. And, uh, where's the cone? Grab a cone. There's a cone. Oh, there we go. Here. Oh, look at you come with and treats look for at us. That. That's amazing. You got it? There got it. Go. And we okay. can actually eat and it? Go ahead. Yeah, try it out. Ooh, that's nice. Is it good? That is good. That is good. That is good. All right, we're going to come back. More fun. We're going to learn how to levitate. We're levitating items after the break. Our back with Science Bob here with another experiment. We're going to how to levitate. Tell us yeah, about yeah. this. Uh, so uh, magicians like to levitate things, too. We're going to use a little something called the, uh, the Bernoulli principle for this. So we got a little video here. Okay. In Bernoulli, we have flowing, uh, flowing fluid which uh, goes around an object like a sphere, mm -hmm. and there's uh, press pressure differentials which kind of create this bubble that holds it in, in that. Uh, there's other forces sort of called the Kawanda effect as well. So we can do that. I've got just a uh, off-the-shelf uh, leaf blower. Yeah. And we put the, you know, our beach ball. Fine. Fine. You get that, right? You've seen that. All right. So Woo! here's, we've seen Summer. that. You can go to museums, you can see that. <laughs> Gosh. Here's something kind of cool. I want you to take this. Any curved surface has the potential for being able to have this effect. So if, uh, I'm going to turn this on, and you just hold it until you feel like... This way or this way? Uh, like that. Okay. Kind of a little bit of an angle. Okay. We're going to see like if we can get this soda bottle to float. <laughs> I can't now, hear you. Hashtag That's okay. Science 
this is magic. <laughs> All right, we got one more. So what? we were playing around with this, and we, I was wondering if it would work on like a semi-sphere. Yeah. And then also wondered if the air can curve around in here. So I put a few things in here to see if it would. Okay. All right, and we're gonna see if we can get this one to work. Here we go. What do you read before you go to bed? Uh, right now, I'm reading uh, Us Weekly. No, no. <laughs> I knew it. Adam Savage has a new book out called Every Tool's a Hammer, which I really enjoy. Oh, right. yeah. okay. Every Tool's a Hammer. Um, <laughs> great. What's next? What's that light bulb? Oh, uh, so yeah, Gilman, we weren't sure way, if we'd have is, time. We have time for this one. This is how Let's do it. I, like, should have. I noticed that the light bulb. <laughs> the you can get these round light bulbs. Yeah. So here's what I'm gonna do, Kelly. If you hold on to this cable I, right down yes. here, mm -hmm. Ryan. Yeah. Uh, you just need to look like you're suspending this in midair, so we get a cool picture. And then go ahead, turn it on. And here we go. Ready? Wow. Science Bob, great to see you, pal. Lots of fun.